What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bowls Deep Fishing. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Um, today's video, I kind of just want to touch base on what's been going on in my life uh, because I have not posted anything on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or really anything fishing related. Um, it's, been, it's been pretty crazy to say the least, but I kind of just want to fill y'all in and I'm starting to get hopefully back into the swing of things and hopefully be able to create some more content and really, you know, get back to where I was. But, um, I, and as you can see, I'm, I'm sitting in a new boat. So we're going to cover all this here in just a minute. But, uh, so as y'all know, I'm in the construction industry. That's my, that's my day-to-day -day job. My real career is in the construction business. And we were essential workers, so we never shut down. Um, and on top of that, which I'm very blessed, but we have been super, super busy. Um, busier than... I mean, everyone else is slowing down, and we're just, we're booming, um, which I'm very blessed to have that, but it's just to the point that, you know, I was going fishing, you know, at least, you know, once, once a week, twice every two, you know, a pretty substantial amount of time, but then all that just was shot, um, on top of all the COVID stuff, and then, um, getting the kids, see if they were going to go back to school, um, finally got the kids back in school, um, then I picked up a new hobby. I picked up CrossFit. Um, so I really kind of dove into the CrossFit game. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a lot of my workouts I've been posting up. I um, absolutely love it. It's a phenomenal thing. If you've never tried it, you definitely need to try it. Um, but kind of fishing has just been kind of dead. Um, and so I was able to get out a couple times. I think I still have a little bit of footage uh, on some old SIM cards from earlier this summer of some of my last trips that I took probably... I haven't been kayak fishing in, good lord, a month probably. But, uh, you know, and then trying to, sorry, I tried to show by, then trying, you know, to get the kids to go to, you know, summer vacation, just all sorts of stuff just going crazy. But, um, I, like I said, I still, I think I still have some footage that I'll be posting up sporadically here and there. Not sure if I'm going to do all one continuous video of all the old footage or break it up in between. I'm, I'm not really sure yet. Um, but, that leads me into, again, I just I just haven't been able to fish or really do anything. But then that leads me into why I have switched boats once again. Um, I am back in a new canoe. Uh, I, I think that's my sign that you know I'm, I'm a new canoe guy. I've always I've had I've had one pursuit, three flints, and then this pursuit. So that's four new canoes I've had within probably the last probably three years. Um, I love the open floor plan. I love the boats. I love the customer service. Um, I feel like, you know, and I'm just going to be real with you. The reason why I've switched so much is because <clears throat> I've had a lot of stuff change in my fishing industry life that, you know, I felt like I needed to make moves. But in all reality, I should have just sat still and then I would be looking better than what I am now. Um, so I, and I got butt hurt from that. Um, that whole scenario, so I uh, I just kind of put all that aside and, and stepped back in and took a step back and realized, you know, you keep going back to this boat and, and you have no issues with this boat, um, so that's kind of just where you need to stay. And so, I, you know, I've, I've put my pride aside, I guess you could say, and I, I've just swallowed my, swallowed my pride and, and moved back into it, and if that day comes that I get that opportunity to... Um, grow in the industry with New Canoe, I'm, I'm all on board. Um, but if it doesn't, that's okay too. I'm still going to back them 100% and, and I always push people too. And it's funny because um, even with my Jackson I just had, you know, I preached on open floor plan, how I loved it with my New Canoe. This, that, New Canoe. This, that, New Canoe. and But I wasn't in a New Canoe. And so I just, it, it was very odd. But, um, I got my hands on this one last Friday. <clears throat> Found a phenomenal deal in Perry, Georgia. As you know, everyone is very slim on kayaks, but uh, this is a 2019 model brand spanking new. Um, the only thing that's different is from the 2019 to the 2020 model is the seat. They have the new the new seat, um, which I never I never disliked the original seats from New Canoe, so <clears throat> that wasn't a deal breaker for me. But came across the dog, couldn't pass up. But the reason, another reason why I left the Jackson kayak is because there's a couple different things. Um, 
for one, I've already brought the new canoe situation. I miss new canoe. I missed. I missed everything about them. Uh, number two is, I feel like, and I hope I'm wrong, because Jackson is was such a great company, but with all the changes that they've had inside their business, and then when COVID hit, it just seems like Jackson just kind of did a dead stop. Um, they stopped making everything. They their customer service dropped way down. Um, you know, even whole warranties were getting pushed back on the customer when it was within a few months of buying the boat. It was just a lot of a lot of stuff I've heard and a lot of stuff I experienced, just my personal experience with the Jackson and inside the UPIC that I just wasn't fond of. Um, and I will I will never bash another company. There's a lot of companies that I can say some things about, but I never do. Um, that's just you're never you're never bashing another. You just never should bash another company. Uh, but I am going to be honest. I feel like ever since the bike came out with the Jackson, I feel like they're uh, they went a little bit cheap on the bike on the U pick. Uh, they rushed the flex drive. Um, I feel like, you know, and all that kind of, and I'll, I'll, and I'll, I'm sure I'll get comments to in, in below about, oh, well, you must have never manufactured something in size and, and products and all this stuff. I, I understand that. But when you look at a CUSA HD and the quality that the CUSA HD had and push it into a CUSA, H, uh, CUSA FD, you, you can tell the difference, Okay. And then you get into the U pick, and I felt like it was just it was it was cheaply made. Um, to be honest with you, I feel like I and I think this has been addressed. But the track system, the I'm gonna call them the Freedom Tracks because that's what New Canoe calls them. But the the track system goes bow to stern in the kayak. Um, I could I had to do everything in my power. I had to take a hammer and a flathead screwdriver just to get a T bolt through them. I believe they have fixed that. They had an issue with the their track manufacturer, but um, I just I wasn't I wasn't impressed to be honest with you. Um, I've always been impressed with Jackson. I've always been a huge fan of EJ Eric Jackson. Um, always a big fan of uh, <coughs> always a big fan of everybody at Jackson. Um, and then just a lot of the employee changes they've had and stuff I've heard. I just it, like again, I'm not gonna bash the company. I feel like you know they have some stuff they gotta figure out on their own before you know I would ever push anybody to them. Let's just, I'll leave it at that. Um, but back to where I was at. I'm back in a new canoe pursuit. Um, I'm waiting on a few more parts from new canoe before I can fully rig out my boat. Um, I'm waiting on the bow mount troll motor mount uh, for the pursuit to have a bow mount troll motor on the front. I'm waiting on my dashboard so I can rig up all my electronics on my dashboard. I'm waiting on my uh, decking kit from Marine Mat. Uh, they gave me the silver color Marine Mat, and I asked for the brown. And so Blake was very willing and to basically hook me up with a the brown mat because that's the one I wanted. And they, they actually... The people I bought them from, Broken Arrow in Perry, Georgia, they actually reached out to Blake a few minutes ago, and I just got the call that they are um, sending me, direct shipping me the brown marine mat. So, waiting on that, um, and then I'm also waiting on some tracks from uh, Yak Gear. I will be mounting tracks on the top of my hole, uh, not necessarily sitting on the floor. The reason why I'm, why I'm getting tracks to go on top is because Hanging my uh, fish finder, my transducer arm off the side. I'll need a track on the side. Then also my anchor wizard. I like to have it on the top of it. And then um, easy access to me dropping it and lowering it. Instead of it being in the floor of the kayak, I don't want to reach down. I just want to reach to the side and crank it up. Um, and then pretty much it. That is what I've done. I did a little bit of rigging to it. Um, made some leashes. I went ahead and did my... If you notice my other videos from my other new canoes, I did a DIY seat rise kit. Um, this time I did a little bit different. Uh, I'll share that with you too in another video. And then also, let's see if I can get it up here. I have decided, because whenever I was in a Jackson, I had the J-Crate. 
Well, um, before I sold my U-Pick, I decided I want to try Yak Gadget's new low-profile crate. And so I got that in the mail. Um, been pretty satisfied with it so far. I like how it's elevated. I like how there's shelves in between. It helps everything keep organized. Um, really, really impressed with it so far. And uh, really, uh, really looking forward to, you know, putting it to the test. So pretty, pretty outstanding product. You know, easy to put together. The shipment was fast as crap. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with them so far. And, uh, and then another thing is I'm trying to get back into the tournament scene too. Everyone knows that the tournament scene has been kind of shot due to all the COVID stuff, but it's starting to kick back up. I'm still continuing doing the KBF onlines, uh, which, you know, I can only fish them whenever I get to go out. Uh, there is a KBF one night stand this weekend I'm going to be getting into. There's also the KBF Lanier series that got rescheduled for mid September, or not Lanier series, Lanier tourney got rescheduled for mid September, so I will be fishing that one. That's going to be a two day tournament. And then also, I'm going to jump on board to the bass series stuff and fish. I think there's one or two more bass events uh, I'm going to try to get to. I think maybe one's at Chickamauga and then uh, maybe one or two more. But um, so that's kind of my game plan. And then obviously, I'm going to start doing some more adventures. Now I have the pursuit. I have in-hole storage, so I'm going to go on camping trips with this as well. Um, and it's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming out. And another reason why, you know, another good thing about the pursuit is I am now going to transfer in to start to take my children out on the water with me a lot more. Uh, my two boys and my daughter. Uh, my daughter's a little bit older, so she, but she brought it to me the other day that she couldn't wait to go out on the new new canoe. And then my boys have been begging me to go out too, so... And with a new canoe, what's cool about it, since it is an open floor plan, it is 13 foot, 6 inches long. I can slide my seat all the way back and then drop them a seat uh, in front of me and be able to, you know, have them with me when I'm on the water. Don't have to worry about stability or anything because this thing is a tank. Um, and then also, I mean, I've just, I, if you remember a long time ago, I guess it was probably three years ago, my first new canoe was a new canoe pursuit and it was in Gulf Storm color. And... Heaven forbid, look what I got. New Canoe Pursuit and Gulf Storm Color. It's just a different model. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the pivot drive on it yet. Uh, I have been kind of in love with the bow mount troll motor. Uh, I know this thing tracks well, and I miss paddling, so I'll probably just either paddle it or um, motor it. So that's probably the way I'm going. Um, but for the most part, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm waiting on a few things to rig it all out. And I got some stuff coming down the pipeline, so be looking on Instagram. That's where I'm going to post my stuff first, and then I'll, whenever we get back to the house, I'll post it up to YouTube. So definitely, you know, start following me again. Thank you so much for sticking around with me through the quiet time. But uh, just kind of want to reach back out to y'all and let you know I'm getting back into it. So I'm really looking forward to it. Kind of let you know what's all going on on my plate, and uh, just uh, thank y'all for sticking with me, guys. But uh, stay tuned. I got some more stuff coming y'all way. I'll try to get that older footage put together just at least to have y'all something to watch till this weekend whenever I do my one-night stand. And uh, we'll just get right into it, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Stay classy. Stay tuned. Deuces.